Hey everyone, welcome back to the BMW Blog YouTube channel and welcome to the BMW iDrive 8.5. In this video, I'm going to showcase some of the new features available in Operating System 8.5 or iDrive 8.5. This particular car, it's a 2024 iX M60. As you might have noticed, compared to iDrive 8, there is a new home screen and this one comes with this feature which is called Quick Select. It's essentially replacing the widgets they used to see on the screen, the vertical widgets, and now they're actually combined into this left side through this quick select menu. So as you can see, you still have widgets and you can scroll up and down. You can also go from left to right. There are additional features that you can access, but let's go to the top, for example. And you can see right here, you have your media input. Right now I'm on Sirius XM. Of course, you can quickly access that by just clicking on it and if you go back to the screen you can actually connect your device if you go further down you have quicker access right now to let's say input a destination so all you have to do is this and let's say that I've already searched for one let's choose the planetarium in Chicago and now it's gonna give me the guidance to that All right, so let's do that. So now if I go back to the screen, I have some additional items there. I can stop the guidance quickly. I can also search for a charging station. So that's a quick shortcut to find a station for your car. Back again, or you can actually scroll more to the left and right and see what other features are there. You can also see the navigation. So that's gonna give you access to a step-by-step -step navigation. And of course, you can also get access to the vehicle status data. Once again, you can go left and right to get additional information. I also like this widget with the personal system because sometimes you don't even know the voice commands that you can actually use or you can ask the car. So it's really nice to actually have this there and essentially you can, you know, circulate through them and see what's available. You might have noticed that the map is now the default screen in iDrive 8.5, but if you don't want to have that, all you have to do is just go to the right side, swipe, and now you can actually pick something else. Let's say my modes. So I want my modes to be the default screen. Or if you go back, you can have the live vehicle, so you can play around with this. You get the idea. You can further customize this, but let's go back to the map because that's probably the most useful feature. Another major update in iDrive 8.5 is the redesign of the AC controls. Unfortunately, the physical buttons are gone, but in compared to iDrive 8, they decided to do this. So if you click that, you turn on the AC system, you are getting this digital interpretation of the physical buttons. So you have them right there. They're a lot easier to access. So for example, if you want to control the fan speed, all you have to do is that. If you want to turn on or off the AC, you can do it from there, or you can go from there as well. You can also go all manual from right there. So right now you have full control of the vents and the air circulation. So you can choose the top, the bottom, you can control the fan speed, both sides, of course. Let's go back to auto. You have this sync feature. So essentially you're syncing the driver's side with the passenger side. So for example, if you want to keep the same temperature on both sides, you can control it from there. Now, if you want to separate them or your co-driver or passenger wants to do that, they can just go there. And if they adjust from their side, it's going to disconnect the sink. Now, another major addition to this screen is really a quick shortcut to access the seat ventilation and the seat heating and of course the steering wheel heating. So you can see you can adjust it right there. Now let's say that you don't want to go manually up and down. You can actually just do this, hold it, or it removes it. Same thing on that and same thing on that as well. So this is a quick look at the UI UX for the AC controls. Once again, I would say the biggest or second biggest addition to iDrive 8.5. So the other thing that I like to do in iDrive 8.5, it's really to customize the shortcuts. 
essentially these are replacing the physical buttons also the programmable buttons they used to have in other BMWs so if you go to the top you can swipe down and you're getting that menu if you don't want to do that you can also simply just do this up and down and that's going to bring up or collapse the menu so let's bring it back up and you can see right now I have a few that have been set up already I always like to have the tire pressure monitor because that helps me uh, keep an eye on the PSI and making sure that I'm getting the best efficiency out of the tires so the other thing that I have is the drive recorder another useful feature in my case I also set this up the sport mode I always like to drive in sport so I set up a shortcut so now let's say that you want to assign a, a new shortcut we have a few that are open still we're gonna go back to the apps let's say that I want to add the ambient light simply go there push and hold that's gonna bring up a contextual menu and I'm gonna say add two shortcuts so that's a simple way on how to set up the shortcuts of course you can remove them just as easy by just holding on to it and then you say delete shortcut so I highly recommend you take advantage of this because it's a quick way of accessing some things that you might be using all the time so you don't want to be distracted while you're driving trying to find something in the menu but speaking of finding something let's say that you're not able to find that particular item that you're looking for or that particular setting and especially in iDrive 8.5 there are quite a few and sometimes I even have a hard time finding them I'm gonna give you one example uh, where do I find the iconic sounds right so I know where they are right now but if I don't I'm gonna go to the browse menu and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna say iconic sounds you can see it found it push on it and now I have access to the iconic sounds so that's one way to navigate all these apps there are quite a few apps of course you have the Android Auto the Apple CarPlay all necessary features in new cars there is this new Bundesliga app the car it's not connected to 5g right now so I'm not gonna be able to stream it but when you're parked you can actually uh, stream Bundesliga football games soccer games right there I've talked about a drive recorder you've seen that feature there is also an interior camera so this is a cool way to spend some time with your family playing around with the photo camera you can see if I look up I can set up a timer I can take a photo of myself while I'm filming this all right so that's done of course you can share all of these photos if you go to gallery you can see some of the photos that I took with some of my friends and you can actually share them all right moving on this entire row of icons have changed quite a bit as well of course you have this AC controls we've talked about that already you have the audio source of course you have the maps and then of course AC the home menu the icons and then the phone if you want to connect the phone that's a quick way of doing this if you look at the top you might be wondering what's that three icon doing there what does it stand for if you click on it essentially you will see that it's actually a notification screen and it will tell you if you missed any notifications or if you need to take any action of course you have the destination and the navigation icon and then if you move on you can actually see the uh, microphone being enabled you can use the hey bmw and that little icon right there that's actually my profile also another thing that's available in iDrive 8.5 and that's because of the new head unit so let me turn on the car it's the ability to select augmented reality ar in that center display right there so if i go here I can choose content and you can see right now it's set up to AR compared to the 2023 models you're getting a full display I believe in the previous model you would only get it on the right side so right now you can see it it's fully displayed out there okay so these are some of the tips and tricks in BMW iDrive 8.5 just a quick recap quick select major update climate menu another huge update and I would say these are probably the most important ones in iDrive 8.5 I hope this video was useful stay tuned we'll have a lot more tips and tricks coming in the near future